Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Curls Curls. And today I'm gonna to be showcasing this 13 by six natural curly lace front wig. The pattern on this is the natural curly 3B3C. It is in an 18 inch length. And I also have a cap size medium. With this unit, you get your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable strap, and also an elastic band. I did go ahead and co-wash my unit. I used my Aussie Moist shampoo and conditioner. So this is what the hair is looking like now without any product in it. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. I did go ahead and adjust my straps and I did tighten up the elastic band for a good fit and just making sure everything fits up. Now this unit does come with a pre-plug hairline. I did go in and slightly pluck out the front a bit more, but not too much. And then I just wanna show you guys what this parting space looks like because it looks really good for me to not have gone in and did any bleaching. The company did that already for you. cut off the excess lace on the side by my ear and now I'm just gonna go around the front and I'm going to place a little bit of my wax just to kind of smooth everything out and get it to lay down really nice and flat because this unit does have a very good amount of density throughout. So I want it to just be a little bit more sleeker. And then after I am done using my hot comb in the front, I am just going to go ahead and work on cutting off the rest of this lace. After I'm done cutting off my lace, I am just going to readjust it to where I think it needs to sit. And then I'm gonna be using my active hole spray. And as you can see, I sprayed most of the spray on the lace and then I'm gonna place it down. I feel like that just kinda gives it a little bit of a better hole and I feel like I'm not spraying too much on my skin. And then once I get to the front of the hairline, I'm going to spray a little bit on top of the lace. A little bit of the spray definitely goes a long way so you don't have to overdo it. that everything is dry down I'm just gonna go on the side and I already knew that I wanted some baby hairs before I get to styling so I'm just gonna pull out a little bit of that hair on the side and then I'm going to cut it down shorter and use my hot comb just to kind of press it down out of the way and I'm gonna place my elastic band on and then I am going to tuck that underneath the band so it doesn't get mixed in with the other hair. And then I'm going to part this. I'm gonna be doing a middle part today. Of course, if you want a side part, you absolutely can rock that. But usually with a high density curly unit like this, I prefer to part mine in the middle. It just kind of gives me the ability to not have it too much in my face and then not feel heavy on one side. So that's how I prefer mine. But I am gonna go at the top with my wax also, and then I'm gonna use my hot comb to press everything down. have the top laying down very flat I am just going to twist this out of the way and clip it so that I don't have to worry about it and then clip the top part I'm going to work in sections I'm just taking my wide tooth comb to just kind of glide through the hair and I already kind of pre-detangled this when I was washing it and I didn't really get much tangling so it's very easy for me to do but I am going to take my water bottle and I'm just going to get it nice and wet. And then I'm gonna be using my Tresemme Flawless Curls just to kind of define the hair and get everything to pop. Once I run my fingers through and saturate it really good, making sure to really focus towards the ends, I am gonna go in with my detangling defining brush and just kind of glide it through so I can get the curls to clump and pop even more.
I did use a generous amount of the flawless curls just because of the amount of hair on this unit. So I wanted to make sure to coat each strand and just make sure that everything was going to form together. So this is what one side is looking like. Looks really nice and defined. And then this is what the other side looks like. It's giving big hair, don't care, yes. So I went ahead and did the other side off of camera. So now I am just going to work on diffusing this. And I'm gonna speed up this process because it does take me a while. hair dry down pretty good so now I'm just gonna take this elastic band off and it just like literally popped in my face and that's okay I'm just gonna go ahead and get to working on these hairs that I left out I feel like they were just a bit too thick so I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and thin it out a little bit more so that I can have it looking natural now of course if you are not a fan of baby hairs if they are not for you you can definitely skip this process ahead and curl those shorter hairs because I feel like it just gets the hair to flow a bit better. I'm just using a little bit of that spray that I use to lay the lace down and I am just going to lightly swoop. I'm not going to think too much into it. It's okay if it's not perfect. I just needed to go over where I needed to be and then I am just going to brush some of the rest of the hairs in the front out of the way take me long at all so now I'm just gonna go in with my Ruby Kisses powder and I'm gonna go around the front of the hairline and then I'm gonna put a little bit of a lighter powder into the parting space just to kind of make it look a little bit more scalp like and just place a little bit of powder around the front of the hairline just to kind of brighten it up a bit. I'm gonna take my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum and I'm going to work on fluffing up this hair. I'm not gonna fluff it up too much because I don't want it to get too frizzy, mostly focusing at the bottom part just to make it look a bit more fuller. And then I didn't show off of camera, but I did finger coil like a few little areas in the front. I wanted to define that a bit more versus worrying about finger coiling the whole unit and it looks pretty good. I like the way that this came out. So fluff to your desires. It just really depends on how big you want to go. This is the final look and look how juicy and bouncy those curls look. I love the luster on it. It looks really nice without being too shiny. It's really nice and full. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I turn around. They definitely do not skimp when it comes to the density on this unit at all. And the other thing that I love about Curls Curls is that their curls start at the root area. Now you can see some of it started to revert back, but I did hot comb mine out just to kind of have a sleeker look. And then this is what the hairline is giving. So guys, make sure you stay tuned after this so you can hear my final thoughts when it comes to this unit. she's cute now I know I have been giving you guys some color curly options lately but those are really pretty but it's just something about a natural curly wig that will always have my heart of course when it comes to this company I love the curly hair units so yeah it's a natural curly texture and for me it's a little bit more on the silkier side it does not have like as much coarseness to it and that's okay because they have so many options on the website that you can choose from but i really do like this one you guys can see that i did kind of finger coil in the front just to kind of define it a little bit more and i fluffed this unit up i didn't fluff it up as big as it could go of course the more you fluff the more it's going to look really big but i fluffed it up enough to where you guys can really see and this is 18 inches in length of course, it is going to shrink up to about this length. I'm only 5'2", so if you are a bit taller, it might look a little bit shorter on you. So you want to see if they have a longer length if you want it to hit, you know, a little bit longer on you. The company did go in and bleach the knots. They also pre-plucked the front of the hairline. I did go in and do a little bit more plucking 
on the sides where I decided to add a little bit of baby hair. And then right here in the front, I wanted to pluck out just a bit more. You don't have to. I also put a little bit of powder right here in the front. I should have just went a little bit lighter because I noticed when I was taking pictures, I did have to kind of lighten up in certain areas. And then I added a little bit of a lighter powder into the parting space just to kind of open it up. Now you do get a good amount of parting. Of course you get most right up in this area. If you go over further to the sides, then you are gonna end up running into less parting space. You are gonna start seeing some tracks. Now you guys know lately I've been using my Tresemme Flawless Curls. I highly, 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 highly recommend this product just because it's going to give your hair bounce is going to look really nice and soft it's not going to have a heavy sheen to it like the way this dried down it looks really good speaking of dry down i did diffuse this hair almost to 100 percent i really took my time because i really wanted to see the curl pattern and i feel like it came out really pretty now i didn't get too much frizz when it comes to this unit but of course, a little bit of frizz is expected because this is a curly unit. So I would suggest going in with a little bit of sleek and shine serum. The washing process, I received a little bit of shedding. During the styling process, I did not receive as much shedding as I did during the washing process. So that was really good. And then y'all already know what I'm gonna say when it comes to tangles. It's a curly unit. It is going to happen, especially in the nape area. If you are a beginner, then hey, you might wanna bypass this up if you don't want to have to worry about taking care of a curly unit because you are gonna have to refresh and maintain when it comes to this particular style. Other than that guys, everything looks really good and put together. If you are interested in this unit, I am gonna make sure to leave all of the links down below. Guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.